Hey Rabbits, it's Trixie and almost a year ago I uploaded a video about how to do the German accent in English. I just love analyzing languages and culture and accents, so it got me thinking and I was like, why not turn the idea around? And how awesome would it be to have an actual American by my side today to perform as my language guinea pig? Welcome to the amazing Tana! What an adventure! <laughs> If you haven't checked out her channel yet, do so, subscribe and come back to visit <laughs> this video because it's gonna be awesome. Thank you. So, Dana, you're here to assist me today. Uh-huh, yes. Are you afraid? Are you afraid? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. How long have you been to Germany already and how good of German would you consider your language skills? Uh, I've lived in Germany for six years now and I started learning German before moving here, mm -hmm. just when I was planning to move here. So I've been speaking it for six years. I can understand almost everything that people say, I can watch movies in German and I can express myself in German as well. But yeah, I, I would say I'm still working on my accent. First of all, can you name some words that you had struggles with pronouncing that you remember? Yes, that is a very easy question. I can name lots of them. So I have a lot of problems with the R. So this word, the word teacher in German, it's so hard because I know you're not supposed to say it like er. But Dear yeah, I, yeah, I just want to say Lehrer, but I know that's not it, but I, Lehrer. I can imagine. <laughs> During the last weeks, I watched a lot of American YouTubers trying to speak German mm -hmm. and I wrote down what I noticed. So right now I'm just going to have Dana pronounce really difficult German sentences <laughs> and I'm going to present to you my findings about the American videos that I watched and have her as my like American sidekick. Yeah, I'm excited about this. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I am. Let's go. <laughs> So, how does the American accent in German sound? First of all, I want to point out that this video is not made to make fun of anybody or to expose anybody. I love accents, you all know that. I have a pretty strong one myself and I just fancy languages and I want to find out more about them. So, let's get to it. Since Dana has been in Germany for quite a while already and her German is really, really good, I also got some help from my lovely rabbit Kayla. Thank you very much for recording some of the words I sent you. The German CH sound is a mystery for many foreigners. It's either H or H, but sometimes it's not so easy to decide which of them it is. So Americans tend to sometimes use the wrong version. Lachen. Also, the sound itself is just pretty difficult. So sometimes Americans end up saying k instead of hjorg, or a mix of these two sounds, making it dach, sacke, ich mache. I think the trickiest thing about the German language when it comes to Americans trying to pronounce it is the German R. The Americans have this really nice deep throat ruled R, like R. And we Germans don't really have that. We don't pronounce it so much in the back of our mouths, but more to the front. It's more like Rrr. Just think about seducing someone, like Rrr. Rrr. But just because you can hear the difference doesn't mean that you can copy the exact sound. And that's the problem that many Americans have. They still use the R sound that they are used to. Sahne Torte, Bär, Rot, Fahren. Another R related issue is that Germans tend to pronounce ER in the end of a word as A. Americans, however, are used to emphasize their R's in the end of words. So a word like Wasser in German becomes Wasser. Herr, Mieter, Wasser, Hunger. Another really mean letter is the German L. Germans don't have the whole sound, such as in call speaking American. We just have the H sound as in telephone. As you can imagine for American speaking German, sometimes the American H sneaks into the German language, making for example Gesellschaft, Gesellschaft. Bald kannst du wohl krabbeln. Gesellschaft. Kugel, Muskeln. Something that I also noticed are that American vowels are a bit more, let's call it dramatic. Instead of A 
in German, they're like A, O, U. And of course, it sometimes happens that Americans tend to pronounce the German vowels as they are American ones, making Vogel out of Vogel. Hebel, Vogel. Next big difficulty, German umlauts. There is so much that you can do wrong with them. As for Americans, I cannot really sense a pattern here. Some of them simply ignore the two dots and pronounce normal vowels. But what I noticed way more was that there was a sort of confusion going on when to use U and when to use U. So words written with U were pronounced with an U and words written with U were pronounced with an U. Fuße der Stick. Furthermore, Ö and Ü were sometimes confused. Mure, fröhlich. Not many Americans have trouble pronouncing the German sound sh because they are used to it from their own language. It's also contained in words like sharp. But sometimes there are some trap words in the German language, such as Häschen, little bunny. This looks like a sh, but actually the syllable ends after Häs. So, of course, many Americans fall for it, pronouncing it Hessian. Hessian? Bischen. Hessian? <laughs> Whenever an English word ends with a D, the D is mostly pronounced as a D. But the Germans don't like the D so much. The Germans don't like the D so much. Instead, we take many Ds and make a T out of it. Still, many Americans stick to their love for the D and pronounce German words wrong. Rund, Band. German vowels can be long or short. There is a, o, u, or a, o, u. A, 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 o, u. I mean, we all know that length doesn't matter. I mean, all vowels are equally beautiful, yet some Americans confuse the length. Wasser. Löffel, küssen, nuss. Another problem really similar to this is that German words ending with G are normally pronounced as if there was a K, making it Tag instead of Tag. Since most Americans are used to pronouncing a G as, well, a G, they stick to that even when they speak German. Guten Tag! So, for the record, a D in the end of a word becomes a T and a G mostly becomes a K. It looks like we Germans just don't like our letters to be so soft. We like it more harsh. <clears throat> Something related to that is that German words ending with IG are mostly pronounced as ich, while Americans used to pronounce it as ich. Durstig becomes durstig. Lesigkeit, lustig, durstig. Also, here is something a little bit more specific. In my opinion, the German language has pretty much of a staccato rhythm, and sometimes Americans cannot adapt to this system. Ich backe eine Torte. Did you notice? Everything was a little bit more wavy and melodious. The words stick together a bit more, while Germans make little breaks, actually. Another tricky letter is the German letter S. It's sometimes pronounced as Z, and sometimes pronounced as Americans are also used to the Z sound, but more in connection with a Z. So whenever you see a German S, you have to trust your feeling, whether to go for a soft approach or for a sharp one. Since that's a matter of understanding difficult rules and training, some Americans confuse Z and S. Razzle? Another aspect that I noticed is that Americans sometimes cut off the E in the end of a word. And something else I found would be that the first syllable of pretty short German words is a bit overemphasized. American speakers may say something like Hase instead of Hase. So in general, it looks like Americans take more time to pronounce their words, while Germans are like <laughs> Another situation in which Americans tend to use the vowels they know for German ones is when there is a double E, such as in T. As you just heard, I pronounce it as E, while Americans sometimes pronounce it as E. Schneehasse. Something that I found really interesting is how Americans deal with the German H. In German it's pronounced H, such as in Hase. But Americans have some trouble getting the sound out of their mouths. Their German H has a bit more echo. There is a lot more <sighs> coming out of their mouths before the actual sound appears. Tell me if you can notice that as well. Hören Hase. And one last point. German words can be pretty long. And sometimes Americans don't really know where to 
chop it to divide it in syllables. So sometimes words like Abend, Essen, becomes something like Abend, Dessen. Abendessen? Do you think my list contained all the important points or do you have something to add? Are you an American struggling to speak German? What's the most difficult part for you? My big thanks again to Dana and Kayla for helping me out as my American guinea pigs. All right, Rivets, this was all of my a little bit unscientific <laughs> study, but I still hope that you had a lot of fun and you feel a little bit smarter now. I, we analyzed the American accent in German and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to Dana a lot for <laughs> participating in this, serving as my guinea pig. Check out her channel, as I said at the beginning, it's definitely worth it. And see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! <laughs>